all right guys today we're going to be unboxing and taking a look at the moto g8 power so uh, i'm pretty excited to check this one out here so it retails for around 250 uh, so let's go ahead and get into it pretty standard stuff we have your a uh, clear case with it already on and uh, we have your uh, power brake and your uh, usb type c cable and that's pretty much it and you're gonna have your sim tray uh, removal tool uh, so once you get the phone out uh, it is a kind of a heavy phone uh definitely for a plastic phone but it's not like super super heavy and that's pretty much due to the 5000 milliamp battery in here which we will get to uh but yeah it feels nice in the hand it is a plastic build and you have all your standard buttons the power button usb type c uh you actually have stereo speakers on here which we will get into and you have the headphone jack at the top all right so you have a 6.4 inch ips display it's a 1080p display 399 for the ppi it gets pretty bright but what i love about this display is that it has the punch hole uh on the left hand side and i absolutely love this move uh by motorola i think it just makes the phone feel a little bit more premium and just makes the experience look uh, more immersive now it's not as good as like a full screen no notch display but uh this is the second best thing now the punch hole isn't as small as like a galaxy a51 but it's definitely better than a wide drop notch so i'm really glad that they made that move the screen is pretty bright uh with these harsh lights hitting it so uh for outdoor use uh you will be fine with this guy and uh yeah so you have the pure stock version of android 10 uh pretty much on this guy out of the box and it's pretty fast it's uh, rarely lags i haven't really seen this thing lag at all uh, it's been a pretty smooth experience i love that you have the google uh, home on the left hand side and everything is just super clean on stock android and i think uh, that will appeal to a lot of people here uh, so uh, when you swipe down you do have uh, Motorola's Moto actions and stuff like that uh, so you also have the you know flashlight uh, chop gesture and all the features from you know the Moto app that we know and love and it's all in, in here in a clean uh, little application which is something that I really appreciate now Motorola also has thrown in uh, music customization uh, on here so uh, that is really nice they call it the Moto music but it's basically just like an equalizer and I really like that they're paying attention to music fans on on here so uh, that is really awesome as well to be able to just equalize and get everything sounding uh, how you want it uh, with the stereo speakers are actually very very loud so I actually go ahead and let you guys uh, hear that Now, out of the box, they're going to make you use the gestures. Now, you can switch that back to the buttons, uh, but I did not switch it back because I found the a gesture experience to be pretty smooth. It, it worked fine. I usually don't use the gestures, but here it worked fine and very fluent, very fast. So I didn't have any issues with that. Uh, so if you're not a big fan, go ahead and try it out because it does work uh, pretty fast on here. So this base model has the Snapdragon 665, the Adreno 610 uh, GPU, and you also have micro SD support along with 64 gigs of storage and 4 gigs of RAM so game of performance on here uh, has been pretty good so far as you can see Call of Duty I'm running everything on high now as always we will do a gaming test to see how this runs PUBG or if it can run Fortnite uh, but yeah gaming experience on here is fine and I think the coolest thing with this is that you can uh, go and on game mode with the speaker and uh, you can customize it in gaming uh, on here with these dual speakers does sound uh, really great so I really like that as well for such a cheap handset uh, being able to have that audio experience and Motorola throws in some uh, gaming customization or some gaming tools that you can use while you're in the game uh, so that was really nice as well but I like being able to game with this punch hole 
just feels a little bit more immersive so uh, that is really good so now let's go ahead and talk about the camera so you have a quad camera setup on here a 16 megapixel wide 8 megapixel telephoto and 8 megapixel ultra wide and you also have a 2 megapixel macro camera a shoots in 4k uh, you also have a 16 megapixel camera on the front shoots in 1080p now the cameras on here are actually a step in the right direction for Motorola uh, they usually uh, kind of lack in the camera department but here uh, I was actually pretty impressed especially with uh, the dynamic range and just detail uh, with these cameras out here especially when you take it outdoors you will get some really really good shots so I was really really uh, impressed here uh, with the camera so you have all your essential cameras your ultra wide I think the macro camera is always really fun and the uh, telephoto lens for those portrait photos uh, so you have those all there so this is a solid uh, camera phone as you can see from these stills uh, even in uh, not so good lighting conditions you can still get a pretty decent shot so for this price point I think the cameras are definitely solid and Motorola is definitely moving in the right direction here now this phone is lacking NFC so no mobile payments uh, on the G8 power which is kind of weird because I mean honestly they could have thrown that in there but um, you know if you're really into the mobile payments you just don't have that uh, on here uh, but it does have the fingerprint scanner on the back which is always fast um, so no issues there so uh, overall it's just a very solid phone uh, so let's go ahead and talk about uh, the battery life here so you have a massive 5000 milliamp battery with 18 watt fast charging so um, the battery life is rated at around 10 to 12 hours of screen on time and uh, you would definitely not be able to kill this phone in one day. Uh, this is a phone for people who just do not want to charge their phones. Uh, so definitely a battery beast. Uh, so if you're a heavy gamer or whatever, or if you're just a light user, that's even better. So if you just really hate charging your phone, this is a phone that you should really consider. Uh, so the highlights with this phone is definitely, uh, I think the display is pretty solid for, uh, you know, 200, 250. And also the stereo speakers are plus uh, Android 10 the pure stock version is very very nice for those who love it I absolutely think uh, it's great it's very clean very easy to navigate around and uh, the cameras are super solid on here so this is a very solid phone I was pretty uh, impressed with this guy so what do you guys think be sure to let me know and I'll catch you guys in the next one